I'm the professor, Greg Holman, on Mixed Country 96, and we're in the Artist Lounge, as you can see. Uh, Courtney Dickinson is here with us today, and uh, Courtney, welcome to Country 96. Thank you so much for having me, yeah. You're welcome. And Courtney uh, has a new single out that's doing really well. I think it uh, it's climbing up to, like, in the 40s on Music Row now. Yes, last Thursday it was 44, so mm -hmm. I'm hoping that it'll break top 40 very, very soon. <laughs> that's the goal. <laughs> Are we going to get to hear an acoustic version of that song? Of course. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. But tell me a little bit about yourself. I know you started singing at a very young age. Where are you from? I'm from originally from Ackworth, Georgia, which is north of Atlanta. So it's kind of in between Chattanooga and Atlanta, a little bit closer to Atlanta, though. Okay. So it's about three and a half hours from Nashville, if that gives you an idea. And um, okay. I lived there, oh my gosh, forever. And my mom put me in beauty pageants when I was younger, from five years old. I hated the beauty part, loved the talent part. Okay. So I kind of kept going with that. and. Um, I joined this organization, probably you guys know it because you're so close, American Kids, which mm -hmm. meets in Branson every year. So I came for the Nationals and really got into music that way and okay. then kind of just kept continuing with it and have learned so much and songwriting and just kind of kept going. Okay. Kind of been like a snowball effect, really. There you go. And you have a kind of a brush with greatness in the Grand Ole Opry, don't you, in a way? In a way, yes. I'd love to have more of a history. Okay. Um, when I was four or five, I also did clogging. I've kind of done everything in the entertainment You said clogging? World. Yes. Clogging, okay. <laughs> um, I was the mascot-ish, so the four or five-year-old that would go up and, like, have on their bloomers and say, hey, y'all. Okay. And that was kind of my thing, so. I Were you doing a mini pearl? No. no. Okay. No. <laughs> But, um, so I, yeah, I was kind of like me and another little girl, and we were the young ones of the cloggers, and we got to clog on the Grand Ole Opry, so they do it yearly. They go and, we call the Little General Cloggers, okay. and we'd go every year, and I got to go that year, so it was awesome, and mm -hmm. uh, hopefully I get to go back soon, but this time singing, not clogging. I don't clog anymore. <laughs> do you square dance? No. <laughs> I I've seen square dancers on there, I too. I don't <laughs> dance, so I just, no, 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 no really. <laughs> So we're not going to see you moving a lot, moving around a lot this morning. I might move. I mean, I have my shakers and all that, but oh, dancing wise, dance. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not, not not so much. Now, if if we ask you to clog today, would you could you show us some moves? I don't remember any. That's no? why I was okay. I was like four or five. I don't. I was with someone the other day, and they asked me to, and I was like, I don't remember. The only thing I remember is like when I was little, everyone was doing all these advanced moves, and I want to do it, and like you'd have to like twirl your foot like in a circle, mm -hmm. and I could okay. never get it down. And I remember I hated it because I could never get it down. Well, we've had some artists come through here that had some some very unusual talents. There was a a, a woman called her last name was Calabrese, uh -huh. and she walked on her hands all across all around oh, the radio wow. station. Remember oh, that, wow. Molly? <laughs> I still got the video. Oh wow! So yeah, You're we'll next to put that. <laughs> I don't have any. I mean, I brought baked goods. I can bake. Okay. I mean, other than that. <laughs> we like that. Now, who did you bring with you today? This is Haley Powers. Haley, okay. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, got the guitar. Yeah. All right. Um, well, let's. Uh, what do you want to start off with? You want to start off with a single, or do you want to yeah, start off with a? I think you had a song out a couple of years ago too. I did. I did. So yes. whatever you want to play. Okay, we'll do the current single. That way, everyone can hear it, and if they like it, they can request it. Okay. Yes. And
So Over the Rainbow, yes. and uh, it's been getting great reviews from program directors and music directors all the United States. Yeah, so, so far. congratulations. Thank you so much. And number 44, as we mentioned. I thought in that break in the song, I thought you were going to turn it to Judy Garland there. I know, it's, it's, it's just a little bit. Over the yeah, rainbow. So. it's a little bit of teaser, just, uh -huh. just enough. <laughs> right. Now, so this song is, is, is a, really a big success. Is that, is that surprising you at all? You, um, did you believe in the song from the very beginning? I've loved the song since I was, I first heard it when I was 14. Um, so it's been around for a pretty long time. Um, I actually didn't write this one. No, but um, I know who wrote it. Yes. Three fairly famous people, yes. actually. Really good writers. Eric Pasley, Laurie White, and Sarah Buxton. Mm -hmm. And I've loved Sarah Buxton since I was little. I loved her voice. I always thought it was so different. And I and she's actually the person that sang it on the demo. So oh. the demo, I loved it from the beginning because okay. I loved her. And mm -hmm. then I heard the song at 14. I was going in for my first album. Um, and I just kind of did it as a 15, just demo, just to kind of get into the world, you know, and get right. my music out there. And I heard it, and they kind of pitched it to me in a way, but it was a little newer then. So they were never going to give it to me, really, you know, in reality. Mm -hmm. And then I went back, and every time we went to a publisher, because I think all three writers had a different publisher, it would be on the board, and it would say, So Over the Rainbow, and everyone had it on hold. Maui Hope had it on hold, Julian Huff had it on hold, everyone had this song on hold. And I never understood why it wasn't recorded. So when I went back in, my mom was like, well, you loved that song so much, you should just see if it, you know, is still available. So I did, and I was lucky enough it was, no one had recorded it, and I was like, can I have it? And they were like, of course. I said, okay, awesome. awesome. Yeah. So uh, I was really lucky to get it, and Eric actually heard um, my version of it, and he, he was like, oh, it was great, and I got to meet him, and just hearing one of the writers, like Eric Pasley especially, tell me that it, they liked it, mm -hmm. was just like, oh my gosh, that's a huge, that was the biggest compliment I probably could have ever Got well, Julian Huff was she was too busy dancing. Yes. So she didn't to record. <laughs> yeah. And uh, have you had a chance to meet Laurie White? I have not. No, no? I'd love to. I never have met Sarah Buxton either. Um, mm. But I've all, actually I did. I think I did meet her um, at a recording session. Actually, one of my friends was doing a little writing session. I walked in and she was there. Um, mm -hmm. But no, I haven't met Laurie White. I wonder what happened to her because uh, obviously she's writing songs now. I, yeah, she, she's uh, still pretty she busy. She has some hit songs, you yeah. know, several years ago, some big hits. Yeah, she did. Said that we played so. Well, you know, I mentioned that this this song is doing great, but if if you if you hadn't made it, if you hadn't had a hit song, did you have a plan B? I mean, were you going to give it five years, and if it didn't pan out, you were going to be a teacher or something, or did you have a, a second career you were you were leaning toward? In a way, yes. In a way, no. Um, when I was younger, someone told me never have a plan B because you'll end up falling into it if you don't give it your all. Okay. Um, so in sense. a way, kind of, um, I'm actually in college right now, online college, mm -hmm. um, because through Georgia they actually pay for your tuition, 85% of it through the lottery, as long as you keep a state residency. So I can do it all online. So as okay. I'm doing all this, I'm still in college, um, and I'm going to school for finance and entertainment business. So um, right now it's helping me actually with you know what I'm doing. Sure. But if it doesn't work out still, um, I would still work in the music business. I would never work in any other business. So I would I don't know what I'd do, but you know, with the degree and the knowledge I have with everything I've done, I'm sure I could find something in the music world. But there's never been a plan B, there's never been anything besides music. I've always wanted to do music and no matter what, even if I'm not on the artist side, I'll help another artist out. Like I'll, I'm gonna do something in the music. In the music world. business, Definitely. right? Definitely. Well, good. I love it too much to get out of it. <laughs> well, you hear of people like uh, like Tammy Wynette. Mm -hmm. She kept her beautician license her whole life. Uh, John Conley kept his um, his funeral director's license his whole life, just in case. After 30 hit songs, he still had right. it. Right. You know? So I, I was just curious about that. Well, finance, I guess. Would, I guess would be the 
finance. Okay, I guess so. Okay, all right. I drug it out of you. <laughs> Can we drag another song out of you? Of course. All yeah. right, I'll let you. I'll do one I wrote this time. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Somebody to go on the road with you and play the shaker. I think I can do that. Awesome! So, yeah, I'm just about <laughs> retired. Age, so what about the tambourine? Can the tambourine? The tambourine? I can play the tambourine okay. too. Triangle. So. Yeah. <laughs> Never had so, triangle in there. Yeah. <laughs> we can make it different. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you Courtney so much Dickinson. for having me. And yeah. thank you very much. <laughs> thank also, you. <laughs> have it, where are you headed uh, from here? Camdenton. Oh, okay. Now talk about your beautiful country. That's the Lake of the Ozarks. We're really proud of that area. You'll, that's I'm looking forward to going back to Branson too, because I haven't been yes. back in a really long time. So it'll yep. be fun to drive. It'll that's... be a cool drive. Have you ever been? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never been anywhere over there. Your hands are a little cold. <laughs> so I don't know. Is they it too cold are. Oh, okay. <laughs> cold hands, warm hearts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, well, guys, thanks for coming by, and best of luck to you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. I'm Greg Holman in the Country 96 Artist Lounge.